and just talk about that zero to one journey. So, and purely from a customer acquisition perspective, right? Where did you find those first few customers? So just, I want you to go back, like, you know, a couple of years back, maybe three, four years back, right? When you started, right? And just talk about that zero to one journey. So, and purely from a customer acquisition perspective, right? Where did you find those first few customers? How did you manage to convert them? Like, what was the journey like? Yeah, yeah, no, absolutely. For sure. Right. So when we started Izuto, the underlying idea was very simple. We wanted to, uh, we saw a problem of engagement and retention being broken on the mobile web, right? And that's where Izuto came into picture and say, okay, we, we will help these brands solve uh, solve their retention problems on the mobile web via, you know, you know using push notifications, right? And uh, all of us, right, me, my co-founders, which is Neil Kutari, Sachin Grover, and Shrikant, uh, prior to this business, we were, in our previous company, uh, we were working very closely with some of the leading brands across the country, helping them with, uh, uh, with, with user acquisition. And we saw a very clear opportunity that, hey, while they're paying a lot of money to acquire users, nobody's focused on retention of these users, right? So we had certain background in the industry. We understood that, uh, we understood precisely who should we be speaking with uh, for a problem statement, which was very ancillary to acquisition, right? So we just hustled our way for, I think, for the first dozen odd customers, right? We called up pretty much everybody that we knew. Uh, uh, I mean, we just went through our phone books, called up every single person to say, Hey, is this, is, is, are you guys also struggling with retention like this other brand? Mm -hmm. Right. Uh, that, and then parallelly, uh, I think we started Izuto in 2016, right. And, uh, we had launched our website, I think like in October of, uh, yeah, uh, in, in March or so, we had a website live with up and running and we started investing in content right away. And that used to, that used to generate, you know, quite quite a few leads for us, right? Uh, so inbound also kicked up uh, while, so apart from our our own hustling efforts, right? Inbound started kicking in within two to three months. I remember our first hire outside engineering and the four founders was actually a content marketer. She right. came in and said, that very clear Monday, go, uh, go build out the blog and the website uh, and help us acquire more leads. Mm -hmm. But but you'd say it's still, you know, your hustle that, that, that must have led to these first five odd customers, right? Something like that. Uh, the, uh, you know, interestingly, the first customer who actually paid, right. Uh, I think we got a, we, we, we got a lot of trials and stuff through our hustle, mm -hmm. right. But the first customer who actually paid to us was somebody in Orisa. Uh, 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 and this guy came in through, uh, through inbound, right. Okay. And uh, right. with the content that you created and that just took yeah, you yeah, like two yeah, to three yeah, months. Yeah. Correct. Right. So this person was searching for, for push notifications for coupon sites. And then we popped up and then like he came and he paid online now and we were like, wow, somebody in, 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 right. Somebody sitting in Odisha is willing to pay. We're like, okay, we have something on our hands, which is actually like, yeah, yeah. worth paying for some. Got it. Thanks for watching the B2B SaaS podcast channel. Please make sure to subscribe to the channel here.